Halina't subukan nating sagutan ang Grade 5 Mathematics with 2. Solving problems involving divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Bago tayo pumunta sa mga math problems, alalahanin natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng divisible by. It means, when you divide one number by another, the result is a whole number. So kapag mag-divide daw tayo, ito ay walang remainder. Yon ang ibig sabihin ng divisible by. Umpisahan na nating magsagot. Learning task 1. Choose the correct answer. Is it 2, 5, or 10? Let us read the problem. Maxine made 15 cupcake desserts. She arranged the desserts on platters with the same number of dessert on each platter. How many desserts could Maxine have put on each platter. Subukan nating sagutan ang number 1. 15 is not an even number, so it is not divisible by 2. Ang 15 ay hindi isang even number, kaya naman hindi ito divisible sa 2. Hindi 2 ang sagot sa number 1. The last digit of 15 is 5, so it is not divisible by 10. So, ibig sabihin, hindi rin 10 ang sagot. The last digit of 15 is 5, so it is divisible by 5. So, ibig sabihin, 5 ang sagot sa number 1. Aayusin ni Maxine ang mga cupcake desserts sa Tikma 5 sa isang platter. Nakuha nyo, mga bata. Number 2. Mrs. Dalisay has 16 desks in her classroom. She wants to put the same number of desks in each row with no desk left. How many rows could Mrs. Dalisay make? And the choices are 3, 4, and 5. Let us find the answer. Pag-aralan nating sagutan ang number 2. The given number is 16. 16 des na iaayos sa ilang row. The sum of its digits is not divisible by 3. I-add nga natin, 1 plus 6 equals 7. Ang 7 ay hindi divisible sa 3. Kaya hindi 3 ang sagot. The last digit of 16 is 6. So it is not divisible by 5. Hindi rin 5 ang sagot. The last 2 digits is divisible by 4. Ang 16 ay divisible sa 4. And also, a multiple of 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang 16 des ay iaayos sa 4 rows. The answer is 4. Punta na tayo sa problem number 3. Mrs. Randall wants to hang 39 certificates on her classroom wall. She wants to put the same number of certificates in each row. How many rows could Mrs. Randall make? Is it 3, 6, or 9? Answer in number 3. The given number is 39. It is divisible by 3 but not divisible by 2. It is not an even number. It is not divisible by 6. So, kung natatandaan natin ang divisibility rule ng 6, dapat siya ay divisible by both 2 and 3. So, 39 is not divisible by 6. The sum 
of its digits is not divisible by 9. 3 plus 9 equals 12, and 12 is not divisible by 9. Last, the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Iad natin, 3 plus 9 equals 12, and 12 is divisible by 3. So the answer in number 3 is 3. Subukan naman natin sagutan ang question number 4. Ruth has 84 rose bushes to plant roses. She wants to put the same number of bushes in each row with no bushes left. How many rows of bushes could Ruth make? Is it 5, 6, or 9? Answer in number 4. The given number is 84. The last digit is not 5 or 0. So, it is not divisible by 5. Ang huling number ng 84 ay 4 at hindi ito divisible sa 5. The sum of its digits is not divisible by 9. 84 8 plus 4 equals 12. And 12 is not divisible by 9. 84 is divisible by both 2 and 3. So, it is divisible by 6. Kung naaalala natin ang divisibility na 6, dapat siya ay divisible sa 2 and 3. Ang 84 ay isang even number. So, it is divisible by 2. Pag inad natin ang digits, 8 plus 4 equals 12. And 12 is divisible by 3. Kung ang 84 ay divisible sa 2 at sa 3, siya ay divisible sa 6. So the answer in number 4 is 6. Learning Task 2 Solve the following by applying the steps Solving Routine and Non-Routine Problems. Problem number 1. Josephine planted 600 onions equally in 20 rows. How many onions were planted in each row? So, nagtanim si Josephine ng 600 onions sa 20 rows. Ilan lahat ang onions na itinanim niya sa bawat isang row? Ilista natin ang mga multiples ng 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and so on. Kung bibilangin lahat natin ang mga multiples ng 20, ito ay 30. Pero kung shortcut ang inyong gagamitin, i-divide na natin ang 600 sa 20. 600 divided by 20 equals 30. So, there are 30 onions in each row. Number 2. How many 500 are there in 5,000? May ilang 500 sa 5,000. Ilista natin ang multiples of 500. 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000. 3,500, 4,000, 4,500, and 5,000. So, bibilangin natin lahat ito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the answer is 10. Pero kung shortcut, i-divide na natin ng diretsyo. 5,000 divided by 500 equals 10. Number 3. Kathy earns 1,000 pesos in one week. How much does she earn in one month? Magkano ang kikita ni Kathy sa isang buwan kung siya ay kumikita na 1,000 pesos in one week? May ilang week sa one month? Tama, apat. 
So, ilist na natin ang multiples ng 1,000. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. Kung itatimes natin or imumultiply, 1,000 times 4 equals 4,000. So, ang kikita ay lahat ni Kati ay 4,000 pesos. Problem number 4. Wendy cooked mini siopaw for her two sons and three daughters. If she only cooked 15 mini siopaw, how many siopaw did her two sons have and three daughters have? Ilan lahat ang mini siopaw? Naniluto ni Wendy. 15. Ilan na maghahati sa 15 na mini siopaw? 5. So, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. So, tik na tatlo lahat sila na mini siopaw. Number 5 problem. Christian bought 2 boxes of pizza with 8 slices each inside. And he is going to have 8 visitors. How many slices each his visitors have? So, ilan lahat ang slices of pizza? 2 times 8 equals 16. Ilan ang maghahati? 8 visitors. 16 divided by 8 equals 2. So, the answer is 2 slices. Learning Task 3 Solve the given problems. List down the factors, multiples, and divisibility rules. Problem number 1. A daycare center has 52 children. Each teacher has the same number of children. How many children could each teacher at the center have? Kung may 52 na bata, may ilan lahat ang teacher? Ilista natin ang mga factors ng 52 o yung mga number na pwede i-divide sa 52 ng walang remainder. 1, 2, 4, 13, 26, and 52. Ano ang mga possible answers? 1 teacher, 52 children. 2 teachers, 26 children each. 4 teachers, 13 children each. 13 teachers, 4 children each. 26 teachers, 2 children each. And 52 teachers, 1 child each. Question number 2. A chain of car dealership got a shipment of 9,240 new cars. There are the same number of cars in every color. How many different colors could there be? So list down the factors of 9,240. Ilista natin ang mga factors ng 9,240. So, napakarami ng factors nito. Kailangan nating bilangin. Halimbawa, ang factors nito ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Pag binilang lahat natin ang mga factors ng 9,240, the answer is 64 colors. Problem number 3. Divided by 9, I leave a remainder of 6. Divided by 4, I leave a remainder of 1. Divided by 10, I leave a remainder of 3. Who am I? Ilista na 
natin ang mga multiples nila. Multiples of 9. 9, 18, 27. Multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30. And the answer is 33. So, ang ginamit natin dito ay trial and error. 33 minus 27 is 6. 33 minus 32 equals 1. 33 minus 30 equals 3. So, the answer is 33. Last number. I am a multiple of 3, 4, 5, and 6. I am a factor of 120. Divided by 7, I leave a remainder of 4. Who am I? Ano kaya ang tamang sagot? The answer is 60. 60 is divisible by 3, 4, 5, and 6. 60 is also a factor of 120. 60 divided by 7 equals 8, remainder 4. So, ang pinakasagot ay 60. Nakuha nyo mga bata. Mga bata, tandaan natin mistakes are proof that you are trying. So, ibig sabihin, okay lang na magkamali dahil ito ay nagpapatunay na tayo ay nagpupursige sa buhay.